until you finish your bungee swing or the damn thing, so you don't change the number in the hand, you don't wipe the number in the hand. Okay? If you change the number on the bridge, we might say that one would be the different box. So it causes a problem for you, it causes a problem for us, especially for you. Okay? Uh, first, I will give you the instruction for the bungee, then continue for the swing and the time. Okay? So basically, when you guys do bungee here, you guys have to follow three important things. You guys need to know three important things. The first thing is how we do bungee jumping, how we jump. Second thing, after you did bungee, after you jump, you'll be hanging upside down like this. The head will be down and feet will be up. If you are hanging upside down for a long time, all the blood goes in the head, you might feel dizzy, you might feel a headache, and you might be very hard for you. So, how will come in the same position. And third thing, after you did bungee, you'll be hanging at the bottom. Right? Middle of the bridge. So, in a bungee, we'll pull you back to the bridge. So, to pull you back to the bridge, from the bridge, so this kind of circle, Later we have yellow one. The circle we send is down to in a row. So this rope, this circle, in this circle we have this rope. So this rope you have to attach in a harness. You have to hook it in a harness. So how to hook it? Where to hook it? I'll explain in a detail. Okay? The first thing. The first thing, when you go to the platform, on the platform you have to walk slowly, slowly. You have to walk slowly, slowly like a small baby. You have to move like a penguin slowly, slowly. On the edge of the platform, you get a half feet out, get a half feet in like this. You want to go down. Okay? How are you feeling now here when you go to the breeze and when you go to the platform? It's a little bit You mean? You might feel more scared. Oh. That time, so this bungee jumping, swing, tunnel swing, or any activities that we run here or all over the world. Much more safer than riding a bike, so much more safer than driving a car, much more safer than sleeping in a bed. It's 100% safe, so you don't need to be scared. So we are the human, we will be scared, it's the human nature, but the important thing, like when you go to the platform, that time, the important thing is you have to cooperate to the drum master. So you have to listen to the master behind, so he will be helping you, okay? So cooperate to the drum master. So you'll be like this, get a half year, get a half year in, you open both arms, the jump master will count down, 3, 2, 1, jump or bungee. So when you jump, you jump with the head and chest first. It's like dive in the swimming pool or you can fly like an eagle or like a superman. Okay? Head and chest first, you dive up. So I'm showing you roughly, okay? And another thing, so when you jump, you don't jump with the feet first. Okay? If you jump with the feet first, suppose, so this is the head, this is the feet. You jump like this, at the bottom you get flipped. So that does mean all the pressure, brother angle, knee and back, so you do good pain for you. So you do jump with your feet fast. So once you jump, you will be up and down. You get the wow. bounce up and down. Fun. Okay? You get three seconds before, ah. you go further more down, the rope pulls you back for the first time. First time when you're coming back, you do not think you touch much. You go down again, you get the second bounce back. That will pull you back for the second time. Second time also, you do nothing. You go down again, that will pull you back for the third time. Third time, when the rope is pulling you back. That time, you will be hanging upside down like this. So third time, when you're bouncing back, when you're coming back, just close to your knees, you get this rope. One, black the red handle, another one, the blue one, and there will be another one, green one. So among this rope, among these straps, you just have to find this out, the black with the red one, the red handle one. So it will be attached in anchor harness. Okay? Find this out, this one, you pull it to your chest. So once you pull it, you will be straight automatically. So because, because of this, your ankle is tied together. Once you pull this, your ankle will separate. Then you will be straight. Okay? You just can see here, find this out, grab this one. Just have to pull it. Once you pull it, you will be sure. Okay? Is it confusing? No? So it's not about the strength, it's about the technique and time. Okay? The technique you have to give a job. Take time when you're coming back. When you're coming up. Is this after like, you put the Once you jump, you'll be up and down, right? So jump. First time when you're bouncing back, nothing. You down again, second time, up, nothing. You down again, third time, up. When you are up, you pull it, it's easy. 
if you pull it when you're going down, it's a little hard. Okay? Sometimes you might forget to pull it in a third time. Then what do you do? You try in a full time. Mm -hmm. Or if you forget to pull it from the bridge, you blow the whistle. That does mean it's time to pull. Okay? You blow the whistle, you just grab it, you pull it. Okay? How hard you have to pull it? We make it to practice on the bridge, then you do more pull. Okay? Yeah? Then, once you come in the sitting position, once you will be this way, the circle. Later we have the yellow one, the circle we see in this down in a row. Okay? So when this comes close to you, all you have to do is just have to find this out the rope attached in the circle. Okay? On the top of this rope we have this rope, it's just facing both sides. So this one, in the harness, there will be the green gem metal. So find out the green gem metal, this goes in the green gem metal. You attach it in the green gem metal, once you attach it, you take it like this. Make sure it is hooked or not. What are you doing is now? Then you'll be hanging at the bottom. We can see you, but we can't see you hook it or not. You can't see clearly from the top. So you have to give a signal fast. Signal is opening hand. Opening arms, that does mean it's me. You're telling us to pull it back. Okay? Then we start to pull it back. So when you're coming back all the time, you have to keep your hands open all the way back. You hold nothing. You hold something, we don't pull it back. We just will be starting from the place. Keep your hands open all the way back. When you come close to the breeze, you come close to the breeze. That time, we tell you to grab the rope. That time, with your both hand, you have to grab the rope or the stroke. We tell you that. So before you, before we tell you, keep your hands open all the way back. So we tell you to grab the rope, grab the rope or the circle, Keep your head closer. It's bigger. When you come close to the breeze, the platform will be very close. Okay. If you stay like this, you might hit your head, you might hit your knee, you might hit your body on the platform. If you stay like this, like this. So you'll be more safe. Okay? You're not gonna hit the body part on the platform. You pull it back on the breeze, you keep it there in the same place, then you have to stay there until you finish all the group. Because so if you run, if you walk here and there, our breeze is suspension breeze. So that time when you guys like walking, at that time if any jumper is on the edge, if jumper is hanging at the bottom, so it will be very hard for them. And it's hard to work for us to breathe. That's why you have to stay there. So once we finish all the group, then we send you back inside. Okay? So I'll make a little short now. The first thing when you jump, you fly like an eagle or like a superman with the head and chest first. You dive out as far as you can. The second thing, you jump, you will be up and down. Push bounce back, nothing. Second bounce back, nothing. Third bounce back, you find this out, you pull. You will be straight. Then, you look up to the breeze, the circle will send this down to you. So if you didn't look up to the breeze, sometimes this might hit you. Okay? But it's better to look up. This comes to you, close to you, all you have to do is find this out, grab this one, put it here, take it, you give a signal fast, then you pull it back. Keep your hands open all the way. That's it. Okay? Any question? How many seconds is the free fall? Uh, one is three seconds, maximum. Only three. <coughs> uh, what speed we are going? Speed? Yeah. Like first second, like you will be like 9.8 meter per second, second second, like 19 meter per second, like third second, 44 meter per second. No, like, like if you calculate in kilometer per hour, so like... Uh, in I don't know exactly. Like in a skydive, we go by 135 miles per hour, if I'm not wrong, right? Depends on your It's like the more like you get free fall, the speed will be more. It's like body weight plus 9.8 multiplied. Yeah. The gravity uh, is okay. Okay. That's right. GMM plus R square. Acceleration.